Iran sends police to end Masha Amini protests, as reports say seven killed. Iran has sent police onto the streets in the scramble to end protests that have spread to at least 15 cities. As rights group and local media reported, up to seven people had been killed in a crackdown. There were reports of internet blackout in parts of the country, while Instagram account with Iranian IP addresses were also blocked in an apparent attempt to quell growing anger. The telecommunication minister, Issa Zaripour, was quoted by the official Irna news agency as saying there had been some temporary restriction in some places and some hours. State media reported that police used tear gas and made arrests to disappear crowds of up to 1,000 people on Tuesday evening. Irna claimed demonstrators has hurt stone at security forces and set fire to police vehicle. Protests have engulfed parts of the country over the past five days after the death in custody of a 22 years old Masha Mini, who was arrested by the morality police for not wearing the hijab appropriately. Irna said a police assistant died of injuries on Tuesday in the southern cities of Shiraz, and a Kurdish human rights group, Hangwa, said two more people had been killed by police raising the claim death toll since Amini's death to six. An additional 450 people had been wounded and 500 arrested, the group said, figures that could not be independently verified. Demonstration have rocked the country. Social media has shown women being cornered by helmeted men on motorbikes and beaten. Many women had taken off their head scarf in protest against the morality police who have been enforcing the hijab in line with a decree issued by the new leadership of the president, Arahim Raisi. Speaking at the UN General Assembly in New York on Wednesday, Raisi did not mention the demonstration or a meaning name, but criticized Western countries for their reaction to an incident under investigation in Iran. Iranian officials say they are conducting an inquiry into the cause of Amini's death. However, the protesters have little faith in an international investigation and want the morality police abolished. On Wednesday, the country's supreme leader gave a televised speech in which he did not mention the protests but warned how young people should not fall for Western power deception. Tehran repeatedly blames its internal issues on meddling its international enemies. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, 83, who is subjected of persistence report of falling health, show no clear sign of physical fealty in near hours long address. In New York on Tuesday, Racy met the French President Emmanuel Macron and told him the continue UN nuclear inspectorate's inquiry into the origins of unexplained nuclear particles in three Iranian sites was a serious obstacle to our revival of the nuclear agreement. Iran wants the investigation halt. Jake Sullivan, the U.S. National Security Advisor, said he did not expect a breakthrough in the round of meeting with Iranian and U.S. official in New York. No meeting is planned between Raisi and the U.S. President Joe Biden. In his U.N. speech on Wednesday, his first as president, there was little content to suggest Raisi was prepared to make further compromise to reach a deal with Washington, saying it was necessary for Iran to be provided with fresh guarantees that sanction will not be reimposed by the U.S. Biden has given an assure so long as Iran remains in compliance with restriction on its nuclear program, Sanction will not be reimposed, but he cannot bind future U.S. leader. Risey said U.S. maximum pressure policy has suffered an embarrassing defeat and Iran would, if necessary, find its way out any renewed nuclear agreement. He pointed out that Khamenei had issued a fatwa insisting Iran had no plan to create a nuclear bomb and that its program was purely for civil and peaceful purpose. Biden speaking after Raisi repeat, America is ready to return to the GCPOA, Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, 
unilaterally if Iran fulfill its obligation. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.